Hey everyone, want to embroider a jean jacket with me? Let's do it. Hey everyone, have you ever embroidered on a jacket, a jean jacket? I think that would be so cute. So I'm going to show you how. Um, on our last video, we did our the cuff of our capri jeans. So I'm going to do a design that will match with that. So I've got our jeans and our jean jacket and that'll be pretty darn cute. Um, each of the designs that I chose are from Embroidery Library. I'll add a link in the in the comments on the video. Um, so the big thing that you want to know to be prepared is to measure the back part and as you can see it starts out wide and then gets smaller in between those the side lines. If you choose a jacket that doesn't have the side lines then you have more room. But it's very doable in this type of design. Mine is by Macy's. It's um, Style and Company by Macy's and I love this. Um, they, these always styling company stuff fits me really well so you got to find what works for you. So if you want to be an over, overachiever I'm going to do this back part of the jacket and then I'm also going to do this upper behind the hairline here and then I'm also going to do on the um, little lapel I don't know what you call it but this little upper chest area here so I've chosen three designs for this and I'll, I'll add a link and it's really easy so let's go ahead and do this it'll be so cute let's go Once you have your jacket hooped, I like to really, really, really pin. You could use that sticky stabilizer or sticky spray. I don't use either of those. Um, I just pin, but um, do whatever works for you. If you made a center crease down the center, you can use that to check and make sure that you're straight down the even line. And using this little thing, this little notch as a guide is really helpful to make sure that you're all lined up. Um, and then the big thing here is you want to just make sure that it's going to fit within your jacket. So if you have a jacket that has these seams, you don't really want it to go over. I mean, if it has to, it has to, but the nice thing would be to not have it go over much. Um, so on mine, the little shoe might go over a tiny bit. And the way to tell is using these buttons. Every machine has something that'll show you placement. This is, mine's a um, Brother Dream Machine 2. And um, mine has these little buttons and I use them all the time, all the time. So you just um, would use... Like say that you want to see where the top of your design is going to be. You hit that button and it moves it for you so that you can see where the top is. And I moved mine up. The top was about here and I moved it up. And to do that you just use that edit button and move and move your design to where you want it to be. So 
you don't need to but I did make mine bigger and I made it um, I moved it up a little because I wanted it up here so anyway these buttons like I said you just push these buttons and it'll show you exactly where it's gonna stitch and it's going to be super important since you have all this extra material just make sure that nothing gets pulled in you're going to want to watch this pretty carefully um, you could pin this blue tape it whatever you want or just have it hang there and watch it carefully to make sure it doesn't get pulled in also the collar the collar back here could get pulled under and and then you're going to stitch on it so just watch all of these parts so anyway, for, for placement, just make sure that it's going to stitch. So like I was a little concerned about this shoe. And if you hit this button down here, it shows you the bottom line, which is a little bit here. But if you notice on here, I don't actually stitch there. I stitch up here. So it's not going to be a problem at all. And so anyway, just use these buttons to check where it's going to stitch and get your placement just how you want it. And then we're all ready to go. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this. I think it'll be so cute with the um, capri pants with the sunflower on the cuff. All right, let's make our jean jacket.
work on the top collar. So the same thing, you're going to iron a center crease and then you can use these buttons to make sure that you've got it pinned in the right area. And it's kind of nice you can pin outside of the stitch area on this one since we've got extra room. So anyway, use those buttons to confirm that you're on that straight line. And where the left side is going to be versus the right side to make sure that all of your stitch area is all ready. So I think I'm going to move it down a little bit so it's not quite so high on the collar. So I'm going to make it go all the way to this line here and that's easy to do. I just go to the edit button and actually we're already in it. Move and then this button will move the needle to show you where it's going to be. How simple is that? All right, let's get started. Want to keep seeing tutorials from Kristen Creates? Then all you have to do is click that little red button right there, the subscribe button. It'll make me and Archer very happy. <laughs> Thanks everyone.